I'm Rachel with Porter Chuck. I'm here with Dave Lee Consultant, and he's going to be using the new BHB Check Plus testing system, which tests for BHB, a ketone, along with glucose and bovine whole blood. So, Dave, what are you doing now? So, what I, what I'm doing right now is I'm getting ready to test for the BHB. So I put a drop of blood on here and we're going to get a BHB, beta hydroxybutyric acid. So our cow is 1.5. Okay. Mm. Now we're going to calibrate with the new meter. We're going to use a, do a glucose mm. test. Mm. So you have to put the calibration strip mm. in the correct way. <laughs> Okay, and so, that code matches the code on the test file, right? Right, so number 16 is the code. So now we're going to put our glucose strip in. So BHB results are in five seconds and glucose is in six seconds, right? Correct. So we're going to get our drop on. <laughs> goes on the edge of the strip. Goes on the edge of the strip. <laughs> So our glucose is 109. Okay. So that's excessively high. Dave, why would we test for glucose in fresh cows? Along so the nice, the nice thing is we've got a, we've got an on-farm test for beta hydroxybutyric acid to look at our ketone levels. And now at the new meter, we can also look at glucose. And the importance of glucose would be uh, intervene with uh, some therapy. So glucose is a very essential uh, nutrient, responsible for brain, mammary, and red blood cell production. And uh, this gives us an idea of what our levels are. So if we have very high levels of glucose, and we, have, we don't want to introduce more glucose in our treatments because we'll put the cow into hyperglu glu hyperglycemia. <laughs> and so with a lower level of BHB and a low glucose, it's really important to look at the levels of BHB and glucose for our treatment levels. So that's one of the things that we're looking at these days and there's a lot of research coming on to, say, to justify that. But like any test, on-farm test or any test, you're gonna to wanna to consult with your veterinarian to look at proper levels for uh, glucose, for IVs, for a propylene glycol intervention, not only in ketosis, but it's also essential in milk fever. Okay. So that's the new test, and I think it's going to be a good asset for your own farm diagnostics. Thanks, Dave. And let's take a quick look at the vials. So this is our glucose, our new glucose vial, correct? And yeah. it comes with 50 strips? Yep, and this is our BHB vial, and there's also, uh, they'll come in 50 strips, uh, or 20, 25. Okay, great. Thanks, Dave. Yep.